Hello and welcome to Cargo Shots from the Stat Trade Times, powered by Group Concord. Here's our pick of the best new shots that made the headlines this week. Let's look at the week's top stories. Cargo revenues are expected to be $142.3 billion in 2023, according to the latest forecast by IATA, while that is down sharply from $207 billion in 2022. It is well above the $100 billion earned in 2019. Yields will be negatively impacted by increased belly capacity and potential negative effects of measures to flight inflation. Yields are expected to correct with a 27% decline this year, but still remain high by historical comparisons. Cargo volumes are expected to be 57.8 million tons, down from 61.5 million tons carried in 2019. Average spot rate dropped 40% in May to $2.41 per kg from a year earlier, its lowest level in over three years, according to the latest weekly analysis by Clive Data Services, part of Zeneta. While chargeable weight was down marginally, minus 1%, capacity continued its double-digit increase up 14% year-on-year. Shippers are now the dominant players as forwarders and airlines are nervous of missing or losing volumes actually offered in the market. Kune Nagel signed an agreement to acquire Morgan Cargo, a leading South African, UK and Kenya freight forwarder, specialized in the transport and handling of perishable goods. Morgan Cargo handled more than 40,000 tons of air freight and more than 20,000 TEUs of sea freight globally in 2022, managed by approximately 450 logistics experts. Financial details of the deal were not disclosed and closing of the transaction is expected during the third quarter of 2023, subject to customary closing conditions. Air Tanzania's first Boeing 767-300 freighter arrived at its hub in Dar es Salaam and will provide the operator with dedicated capacity to serve the country's growing cargo market. It also marks the first direct 767 freighter delivery from Boeing to an African carrier. Capable of flying 3,255 nautical miles with a revenue payload of more than 52 tons, the 767-300 freighter is the ideal airplane for growing e-commerce and express cargo markets. Air Tanzania currently operates commercial service across Africa and to destinations in Asia with a fleet that includes two 787-8 Dreamliners. Latin Cargo became the first airline to carry out a one-record digital corridor from South America between the airports of Lima and Madrid. Together with the support of Usyncro, a technology solution company that also incorporates blockchain in logistics, the pilot managed to be the first in the industry with perishable products. The test reported saving at least 65% time in document and data processing activities. The goal is that one record will be established as the only industry data sharing standard supported by IETA by January 1st, 2026. 
Astral Aviation inaugurated its maiden flight from Nairobi to Tel Aviv on its Boeing 757 freighter, which will operate on the new scheduled route. Astral Aviation's CEO Sanjeev Khadia said the direct flight will reduce the transit time from 24 hours to 5 hours for Kenyan perishables like pineapples and vegetables, which were being routed via hubs like Istanbul, Addis Ababa and Dubai. Ghadia added that the return flight will enable exports from Israel to reach Africa via its Nairobi hub. Before we end the episode, let's look at the top stories from the June edition of the Stat Trade Times. In the cover story, we look at how 1.25 million dangerous goods shipments are handled via air cargo annually and why it is better to follow guidelines. The industry report looks at cargo charters. Has the demand softened compared to the COVID peak? And the special report focuses on how the aviation industry is fueling the future with sustainability. And it's a wrap for this week's episode. Wishing you a great weekend ahead and do take good care. For the latest news on air freight, visit our website. Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Give our YouTube channel a visit and subscribe to access our past webinars and virtual conferences and access exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with global logistics leaders. Thank you for tuning in to Cargo Shots by the Statrade Times, powered by Group Concord. See you next week with a fresh roundup of Cargo Newsmakers. <laughs>